how exactly do we know if it's cat one, two, three, four, or five? These are quite difficult to get. It wasn't until 1997 that they developed the GPS drop winsome. And what that is, is it measures, well, basically what happens is the plane flies into the hurricane, it drops one of these things. Okay, and these things can measure pressure, humidity, wind speed, and direction, wind direction, as it drops down through the hurricane. And then it sends all that information back to NOAA, or the Hurricane Center, and they can analyze it, right? So by using this thing, which wasn't developed until 1997, they were able to find out that the winds higher up, the wind... The winds higher up, the winds aloft, are actually stronger than those at the surface. Before we were just doing, oh, it's a cat for by the surface winds, because that's what we could measure. Now we can measure up high as well as down below. Turns out the ones up high are a lot stronger. So this actually made Andrew, it upgraded it from a category four to a category five. Now Andrew was already done and over with, right? But they were able to say, no, Andrew hit, and it wasn't a Category 4, it was a Category 5. And again, Andrew is a retired name, so it's not going to be confused with another hurricane. All right, so this is what a drop Winston looks like. You've got your humidity sensor, your pressure sensor, GPS, more GPS, and a parachute. Just like a little tube that they dropped from the airplane and able to measure all of this stuff. Radio transmitter, battery pack, blah, blah, blah. Now, not only do we have that, but we have satellites. Okay, this is determine wind speed. It can and it can't, we're working on that. So we're trying, but I would say, no, don't worry about that right now. We're, technology is getting better, so maybe it will. But right now, they're trying and they're finding out that it's inaccurate. So we're trying to fix that problem. But it definitely can give you rainfall patterns and cloud formation. I mean, definitely cloud formation, right? The other fun thing, and this is kind of a, a little hint if you're watching the hurricane as it's coming towards us, da, da, da. Um, obviously, they're going to have cumulonimbus clouds, like da, right? But you have these red things. See these red things over here in the picture? There's two of them. Boop, boop. They're kind of taller than the other stuff. Well, those red things are called hot towers. And once in a blue moon, because meteorologists are like, they have nothing to talk about in between advisories. So they'll point out that there's these hot towers, or they'll just say, oh, and I see some hot towers here. Well, if you see hot towers, make take a note, because they, the hurricane is going to strengthen. That happens just before, before it strengthens. So the storm will go into a hurricane, the hurricane... We'll go into a cat one, we'll go into a cat two, etc. Right? So if you hear or you see those hot towers, take note because it is about to strengthen.